day friends it is me hl mod tech and a user under one of my videos said hey can you create a tinkercad playground so my friends let's get cracking all right so the first thing we do is get in tinkercad and i'm gonna name this one playground so that i can keep track of it and i also like to put my initials after it in case i share with somebody else and let's actually spell playground correctly now I love this playground idea because there are so many things that we can build. I am going to start with a super simple slide that also has some of the many skills that are handy as we build. I'm going to go down to featured shapes and I'm going to bring out the spring. I'm not going to change any of the numbers but I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch the spring until it's in the 90s. I'm going to pick a cool slide color so I'm going to go yellow. And then this is one of my favorite tricks ever. I'm going to do control D to duplicate. I'm going to do control up, raise it up two or three clicks and make it a hole. At that point, you can see it is two of them together. And when we group them pop, you have just made a fantastic playground slide that you can enter here and exit down here. Now, if you've ever ridden a slide, they do not hit the ground. So let's raise it up a few clicks. So I'm going to go up four clicks. And then I need to add some supports. Let's go back to the basic shapes. And let's use the cylinder for our supports. Once again, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink it to a size I like. I think seven looks like the size that we would use. And then I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to make sure it doesn't poke through. So right now I am right click dragging to orbit. And I'm going to put this on this side and we can design it however we want. So I'm going to just stretch and make it a oval support. And then I'm going to use this one again, once again, using duplicate, which I told you was control D. And then I'm going to just move it to the spot where I want it, stretch it to the height where it pops up and is useful. And then I can twist it with the rotation handle. Remember, if you get too close to the number, it won't let you adjust. So you always got to look for the corners of those little arrows. I like that. I'm going to make this look a little cooler by changing the bevel. So I'm going to put a bevel of two. So that way it looks more like a support. I'm going to do the same thing back here. Let's do one more of these, maybe two more. Once again, control D, move it to the spot where I want the support. I don't want to block where they get off the ride. <laughs> this is fancy enough. I'm going to call it a ride. That is high enough that it's supporting it. I'm going to get my rotation so it looks the way I want. I wonder if I can put one back here. Let's try real quick. Control D. And I'm hoping that you have fun making variations of this. You don't have to follow mine exactly. Just learn the cool techniques so you can build whatever you want. So since that would run into the people or they could hit it, let's move it out a little bit. Let's do control D. Let's use the work plane to hit that duplicate. So I'm clicking on it and hit D. See how it drops it to the right height. I'm going to shrink it a little and I'm going to just tilt it so that it can support my slide without being in the way. Let's do something else kind of tricky here. I want to have this come further down in. If you stretch these handles, it goes the wrong way now. But if we hit work plane and click on that flat piece, it lets you pull it out so that you can make a connection again. So now it is supported. I'm going to set my work plane back to the ground. I'm going to duplicate those two pieces. Let's bring them over here and group them and rotate. Bring it closer to where I want it. And then I'm going to ungroup them so I can raise this one up to the correct height. That's close, but not quite. I'm going to nudge it in. <laughs> this is where it's kind of fun. You got to make sure you did not make a bump that is going to hurt the people that are riding it. You don't want to be that designer. I'm going to rotate it a few degrees. I like that, so now I can just lift it up and get the connection that I want. 
I am going to group those two pieces. And I think I'm going to consider that supported. And now I'm going to start building the way that they climb up. Let's do that within all shape. And under all shapes, let's go to page two and check it out. There is a stair. When you bring the stair out, it has parameters you can play with. I think these look too deep for what we're building. So I'm going to change the depth to five. That looks more like how I'd want them to climb. The level height is stuck at five and the depth is five and I'm going to make them 15 wide. That way they're about the same size as my slide. Now that we've got this cute little stair, let me show you how we're going to get it to the top. Do control D. Do control up arrow till it's at the exact height to be the next row. See how this line lines up? Without touching anything else, do control D again and again and again. And we should now have enough stairs to get to the top of our project. Let's rotate them 90 degrees. And that'll actually be 180 after that. So really I rotated 270. And let's set this on the corner. So you can see they're climbing up. Rotate again, this time we're going 180. Drag it across to the other spot, so it's on that corner. And rotate this one, we'll go back 90. Notice if you go to the long lines in the middle of the shape, it's easier. Once again, I'm going to that corner right there. And then we got the final platform up here that happened to already be aimed right. So now we've got the stairs, we've just got to add the platforms. Watch this. We want to put a platform right here. So we're going to go back to basic shapes. We're going to turn on our work plane, which is the letter W. And we're going to bring out an adorable little box. For this box to fit perfectly, we need to make it too thick. I'm going to move it up so that it lines up correctly. And on this side, it needs to be 10 because this is already 5. Remember that equaled 15. So I'm going to type in a 10 right there and press enter. And then back here to make it line up, we need to make it 15 totally across. There's my 15. You could have also drug with the handles, but I kind of like building it like that so that it lines up just like that. We need to make another one of these up at the top. So we're going to just do control D. I'm going to set the work plane right here. And if we hit D, it drops it to that height. Now we do have to rotate it 90 degrees, but then we can pull it out. Now it's set it on top, so we just do control down and boom, it is in place that quick. Let's click on that one again and do control D. We need to put it up here. So let's do W for work plane, D for drop. Notice it left the other one and moved it. Do our rotate 90 degrees, staying close so that it's quick and fast. And then do control down arrow two times to drop it into place. If you want an easy way to get it to connect, click on that flat face and hit D to drop it to that spot. And then if you want to align it, you can click on the stair, click on the piece. And let's use the align tool. Now we want it to line up with the stair. So if you click on the stair, then the dots actually fit the stair. Notice how it moved over that easily. Let's move this one back a couple. I'm going to set my work plane so it looks normal again. So that way when I go to the right with the arrow keys, it lines right up. This is all starting to come together. Once again, control D, work plane, which is the letter W, and then hit D to drop it to that height. Use your rotation tools. Stay close to the red shape so that it snaps. Bring it to the edge. Do control down twice and boom, you've got that next stair. Let's do the shift click. So we got the red one and the gray one. Align, click the gray one because it's the one that matters and do that center dot so it lines up. Use your arrow keys to line up your last stair. And boom, we're ready for the platform that they can walk off of. This one will be larger, but I'm still gonna use the same technique. Control D. 
W for the top. D to drop it. <laughs> Control Z if you ever mess up. D to drop that one up here. And then this one, still do your control down. But we're going to stretch it so it does what we want. So we've got lots of room for the kids or adults to get up to your slide, walk around and look at it before they decide to go down. Now notice this, we are too high, but this is so slick because we have this stair, we can just change our levels. Let's go to two and see how that looks. Still need to back it up. So that's groovy. And now let's do control down and see if we're closer to perfect. That's pretty nifty. I'm going to use fit view so we can zoom in and see better. I'm going to go control down and that is pretty nice. All right, let's run through a few more cool quick skills so that we can let you build yours and have it be more fancy. First, I'm going to click on the yellow piece and I'm going to hide it. That lets me see all the orange pieces pretty easily. So I'm going to draw a rectangle that touches them all and I'm going to make them gray because I think that's a better color. These two weren't grouped, so I'm going to just grab those two. Notice all I'm doing is touching two, checking the two shapes, and I'm grouping them, and now they're all gray. Now I'm going to hide all of these, and that lets me easily see my stairs. And then I can grab my stairs, and I can group them so they are one piece as well. I think gray is kind of boring for that, so I'm going to make it a bright color. I'm going to make it red. Now when we click show all, I have got my slide, I've got my supports, and I've got the stairs to climb up. Now friends, I want you to understand, if we were really doing this, you should have rails, and those are things I'm hoping you can figure out how to add with the cylinder. You could also have a little clubhouse up here. You should definitely have rails, but I want you to have fun making your slide way more cool, and I also want you to think about other cool things you can create. I'm going to add some more, but today I'm going to stop the slide. I think this is a good first lesson. Of course, if you make something incredible, I would love to have you share a screenshot with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We are HL Mod Tech on all of them. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.